Hi, this is Paul from the Brockton Public Library System, welcoming you to the sixth episode of Virtual Everyone Has a Voice, a poetry series that began many years ago in the Brockton Public Library by poet Philip Asaurus. And we're keeping it alive for you in this pandemic time with the help of all the gang down at Brockton Community Access. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. This is called When I've Had Enough. There's a breaking point we all get to and we say, I've had enough. You told me I'm special and had value Well, I'm calling your bluff. The words you gave held no power. They were corrupted and weak. Yet it entered my very core of my soul. So painful and deep. I used to appease you knowing that I could never please you. Your expectations were high and your demands were insane. I raced around frantically doing what you asked using only half my brain. I trusted you too much and all I wanted was your loving touch. It was my heart that led me to your rocky shore. You led me on for far too long and I can't take it anymore. You told me you're beautiful and they say beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I wanted to believe you. Let's face it, I'm only getting older. I offered you the world and it was all I had. I gave all I got. Sadly, it wasn't enough. Was it all for naught? There was a purpose for my intentions and love that poured out of me like a sieve. You denied that love, and now I'm not sure how to live. I thought that you were special. You were such a mess. I had the patience of Job, yet I settled for less. Now I can't let you see what you really mean to me, for my hands are tied and my heart's not free. I must break out of this bondage that has me bound. There's a direct line to God that brings freedom I found. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I could erase the thoughts that you were ever mine. I hoped that you were the one for me and I was totally blind. You gave up on us and you were callous and unkind. So it's time to start fresh with a brand new life without the struggles, heartache and strife. Even now, I hold back the love that I once would be sending. There's no way we'd ever make it, and there could be no happy ending. Thank you. Also known as K-Mac, originally from Detroit, but now a poet in Brockton, Massachusetts. I'm bringing to you live two poems that I wrote, carrying the theme of injustice but also prevalence. So the first poem is going to be called, It Don't Matter. Get out now. Another batch from the one they call JD. Word up. I Check tell you people, out. the bones are scattered. Cause right. we black, it don't matter. I tell you people, the bones are scattered. Cause when you're black, it don't matter. Rich, it don't matter. Lies a bitch, it don't matter. Got degrees, don't matter. No disease, it don't matter. Carrying the cross, it don't matter. Walking lost, it don't matter. Walking lost, it don't matter. No court, don't matter. Wearing shorts, it don't matter. Riding a bike, it don't matter. Jogging right, it don't matter. Obeying the lights, it don't matter. Your credit's tight, it don't matter. Pumping gas, it don't matter. Wearing a mask, it don't matter. Buying Skittles, it don't matter. Being little, it don't matter. Climbing a ladder, it don't matter. Your bank is fatter. If you're black in this country, it don't matter. 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 
sight, I matter. We matter. We matter. We matter. Cause black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. We 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 matter. Hi again, this is Kenya McDonald, also known as K-Mac. I'm a poet out of Brockton. I'm doing a poem called Broken Glass from my series of political poetry. How can you save the community from broken glass? How can you save the community from broken glass? Broken glass. How can you save the community from broken glass? How can you save the community from broken glass? How can you save the community from broken glass, from broken glass, giving them plants that won't last, that won't last, political zebras talking fast, cause they ain't up to the task, mouth full of ashes and leaves. Kneeling down like they doing a good deed. Exchanging hands with those running for cover. While helicopters, police sirens continue to hover. And there are those who are on one knee. Echoing promising, rolling up their sleeves. So how can you save a community? Covered in glass. Covered in glass. How can you save a community covered in glass, covered in glass, as changes come slow, except for the upper class, as changes come slow, except for the upper class. From broken glass, broken glass. Thank you. Why don't you get back to me? At other times in certain situations, silence used to indicate assent. But when you're asking whether something's wrong, a silence indicates the opposite. We have more ways to reach out to each other, but silence now may not mean anything. Don't read it to confirm a hope or fear. Finding no place to land, the dove returned. The bottle, with its message crying out your need for rescue and exactly where you can be found, is steered by certain currents. It may never reach a destination. Something has happened. I arrive to see the circles spread across the quiet surface of the lake. Too late to see what's happened at the center they flee from, even as they point a line back to their start. But what set them in motion is gone, already settled to the bottom. Too green. She left me for the man she was to marry years later. Truth is, I drove her away. 
Her love for me had never been in question. I read the notice of her death today. We hadn't passed a word in 40 years. They'd moved to Florida, opened a stable with a riding school. They taught dressage, three-day eventing. Passions, she was able to build a life around and with a man who shared them. All were gifts I couldn't give. I imagined she was better off. But there had been a life for us to live in love together in that distant time when we were both deciding a direction. Five years out of our youth, discovering the depth and quality of our connection. And we were innocent of how we could be changed in ways we'd never known before when we'd awarded with the name of love strong feeling. This was different and more. We found ourselves void by each other's presence, which seemed always immediate and here. For suddenly we'd breathed each other in and we were easy in the atmosphere. So we renumbered days together from the first appearance of love's true expression. Gradually we trusted in the future. There seemed to be no end to the progression. I joined a band that traveled every day and there were women listening every night, dancing at our feet and smiling up to catch my eye. I knew it wasn't right, but there was a lure in the unknown and a new unknown tomorrow night. The thought made me somehow unsatisfied with what I had compared to what I might. So when she asked if we could live together, I held back and used a lot of words I didn't mean to keep her on the string. But what she wanted wasn't what she heard. I wasn't honest. I was immature. But knowing I would not be otherwise for who knew how much time to come, I was a coward to content myself with lies. And then she told me she had taken up with someone else to shock me. I could feel the chill that numbed me to her hidden plea. And so I let us drift out of the real. I learned years later how she must have felt when I was finally ready for forever. Another woman got to play my role and show me why we couldn't be together. Once on our road, we can't be anywhere but where we are. If we could jump ahead or go back a little, we could make levels of readiness match up. Instead, despite our efforts and our will, we often appear to be in step, but only for a little while. Too green, my love was not enough, although I wish it had been more. So blames beside the point, I couldn't have been otherwise but shame's still in the way, and there's regret for what I threw aside. I read the notice of her death today. To a friend showering. You wipe away the gloss and the blush, lean your spine into an evaporated spray. Your nightshirt hangs on a porcelain hook, one breast pocket stitch, one knot. Flakes of glitter polish cling to your nails. You pull aside the plastic curtain, blur of grafted skin framed in the mirror. I watch you clutch at a frayed towel. 
this poem it's about an experience i had when i was very young and i tried to recollect it and i wrote this poem when she possessed with the loire a man began to beat the drum on tazi possessed and began to dance and other voodooism began to come her body turned into a trance all of a sudden she fell on her back as if she trespassed on the ground the place filled up quickly to crack it was too much to stare around i tried to grab her off the floor my father pulled my hand you can't touch your aunt anymore she has the loi soon she will stand then she got up and her voice changed she said i came on my beautiful horse i was fearful of my aunt she was strange she was vibrating like a magnet with a trembling force someone went and got her a white dress and her head was tied with a white bandana with her i was impressed if i must confess she took the middle of the stage in such a manner and she began to sing this beautiful song if guinea was a to fall i would go and return all the voodoo voodooism were singing along that was my first voodoo song that i had to learn the voodoo priest handed her a bottle of water all the family brought their kids to be sprinkled since the loi called my aunt a horse i was angry at her it is just the loi's term my father said as i was being sprinkled this piece is titled a novel by nicholas sparks the last time i saw you the rain held truth that raspberry night if I knew it was the last time our bodies compressed onto my overused mattress, I wouldn't have shoved you to the wall. I would pull you as close as our heartbeats allowed. And that moment, did it beat for me? If I knew that afternoon would be our last, our kisses would surpass the rain. My head would stay tucked into your stubbled cheeks, your hands gorilla glued to my hips, my arms caught behind your neck, our lips trapped in the moment. Would you have stayed then? You wouldn't have left the parking lot. Do you realize that our first kiss was in that car? Despite the different paths they were on, our lips found their way perfectly synced in time. Our vulnerability surfaced, smoke-filled lungs touched for the first time, tongues spoke for our brains, minds connected in that car. The moment I knew I loved you, on our way back from the train, your voice easing me into a thought I didn't need to hold back anymore, was the moment you realized you didn't love me in that car? I wish I told you I loved the way you folded your socks and set them aside before tangling your feet around mine, the way you locked your car multiple times, how you always paused to take your glasses off first, the way you hated to see me get hurt, how you gawked at me sing to Queen and J. Cole, the way you said Nicole, the feeling I got being around you, my mouth numb from smiling, heart shaking with anticipation, body warm with security, eyes saturated in love. Did you ever feel that way about me? These moments never existed. I told you to move over. We walked to your car. Our mouths met for the last time. I watched you drive off. Do you regret it? I do. In an alternate universe, she has you still. I call her the lucky one. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Inés Figueroa y soy directora de la Asociación de Mujeres Latinas en Brockton. Hoy voy a leer un poema porque soy víctima de violencia doméstica por muchos años. Y hoy voy a leer el poema Hoy recibí flores. Aquí voy. Hoy recibí flores. No era nuestro aniversario ningún día especial. Anoche me lanzó contra la pared y comenzó a ahorcarme. Parecía una pesadilla. 
Me levanté esta mañana dolorida y con golpes en todos los lados el verme me golpeó. Pero yo sé que él no lo quiso hacer porque hoy recibí flores. No es un día de, de enamorados ni un día especial. Anoche me golpeó, me amenazó y yo sé que él estaba, no lo quería hacer porque hoy recibí flores. Hoy recibí flores, pero hoy era un día muy especial. Todas clases de flores él me envió, pero era un día especial. Fue en mi funeral. Anoche me agolpeó hasta que me mató, hasta que yo no podía respirar más. Y hoy recibí flores en mi funeral. Gracias. Good afternoon. My name is Inés Figueroa. I'm from the Latin Women Association. And today I'm here to read a poem as a victim of domestic violence for many years. I still had that poem and I read it everywhere I go. I got flowers today. It wasn't my birthday or any other special day. We have our first argument last night, really hurt. I know that he's sorry and he didn't want to do it because I got flowers today. I got flowers today. It wasn't any anniversary or any other special day. Last night, he threw me into a war and it started to choke me. I seem like a nightmare, but I know that he was sorry because I got flowers today. Today I have flowers, many kinds of flowers. It was not a special day, but it was the day of my funeral. Last night, he beat me until I was dead. And that's the flowers that I got in my funeral today. Thank you. This is Joyce Wilson reading my poem, The Brook, from The Spring House. The Brook. I asked the brook to show its knowledge of the world. It raised the image of my face, but never said a word. The shining surface trembled, gnats rose up in swarms, like knotted iridescent strings in effervescent storms. My heart took flight and followed into an open field where amaranth and barley grew and kestrels turned and wheeled. And then I lost my way upon a hard terrain until I saw the brook emerge and lead me on again. Yeah.
earth receives me. The water with me in thought, you are with me in being, I am alone, but not today, I touch you, you are flesh, I kiss you, we are wet, I lose you, I lose me. Heartbeat slows, hush, serenity. I feel delicate mist in the simplistic movement of crying, immersed in keepsake shadows. My arms flow through the still air, catching memories. I cut my hands, drink you in. I thirst no longer. I am alone, but not today. I am the droplet in ocean, you are the sky blue that watches over me. Reflections, light and air dancing. I close my eyes dreaming. We are together in this moment. We are the connected element of being. I am the tree rooted in life's spirit. You are the leaves of my branches. Spring to summer, fall. I fall into winter's abyss. I am alone. Sound of birds fade. I lie distant. Tears of silence blanket my eyes. Emptiness, my companion. The earth receives me. I am alone.